Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The pace at which Turkey's aerospace is making progress especially biker tech is commendable. The firm has developed Bayraktar TB2 that has been export success and had significant impact in Armenia Azerbaijan war and Russia Ukraine conflict. The firm has also developed Akinzi a high altitude long endurance hail UCAV. However, the next UCAV under the list which is Kizlema is a very different category of UCAV described as unmanned fighter aircraft. It will be a supersonic at later stage having high degree of stealth characteristics tailored for different missions along with manned fighter jets. This program resembles very close to HL's Cats Warrior program. If you look at the timeline of the development of Kizlema on 20th July 2021 the first design of UCAV was unveiled on 20th November 2022 the UCAV carried out its first automatic taxi and running tests on 3rd December 2022 the UCAV just flown above the runway for a very short time the UCAV got airborne over the runway at Akinzi flight training and test center from the video clip shared by the firm it seems that UCAV was planned for the very low flight trial 14th December the UCAF took its maiden first flight at high altitude impressing the whole world with the pace of its development talking about Bayraktar Kizlema design it is going to be a jet powered single engine carrier capable unmanned fighter UCAF it is designed as a low observable UCAF powered by turbofan engine and fed by two air inlets The aircraft has delta wing and canard configuration having small four wings mounted forward of the main wings which are triangular in shape. The tail surfaces consist of canted vertical stabilizers. The overall geometry of airframe is consistent with contemporary stealth aircraft design with minimum protrusions and body angles seemingly optimized for decreasing the radar cross section. The UCAV will also have radar absorbing material coating for improved stealth characteristic. The coupled canard controls have been given for increased maneuverability and better controlling the main wing airflow. The UCAV also features an internal weapons bay which will allow the aircraft to operate in contested environments while sustaining low observability. Kizlema is powered by a non afterburning Evenchko Progress AI 25 TLT turbofan engine. This engine is planned to be replaced in later versions by an after-burning version of Evenchko Progress AI 322F which will aid to achieve supersonic performance. Even with a non-afterburning engine, the Kizlema should offer impressive performance for a drone with near supersonic speed. At later stage, the twin engine version of UCAV is also planned. The UCAV has an operational radius of 930 km and operational altitude of 35000 feet with endurance of 5 to 6 hours. The maximum takeoff weight of UCAV is 6 tons with cruise speed of 0.6 Mach and maximum speed of 0.9 Mach. Its payload capacity is 1500 kg where it can carry air to missiles, air to surface missile, anti-ship missiles, guided and unguided bombs and anti-radiation missiles. It will also be able to carry miniaturized electronic warfare payload acting as a stand in jammer and suppress enemy's air defenses to significantly increase the aircraft survivability. The UCAV will have an AAS radar for enhanced situational awareness. It will have takeoff and landing capability from short runways and aircraft carriers. The UCAV will be able to operate in line of sight and beyond line of sight of ground control station. It can be launched and retrieved from an aircraft carrier or helicopter carriers it features a retractable tricycle landing gear and for deck operation a tail hook and folding wing main planes this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.